Hi everyone, welcome. It's good having you here again. I'm going to be doing some another bubble suds test of some recent soaps. And I thought you might want to come along and we can have a little chat. We haven't had a chat since, well, the last chat we had. <laughs> I discussed in I don't want to talk about anything dark that happened recently. There's no need to go back into that. I can let you know that things on the home front have settled. And we'll just go with that for now. Um, but let's talk about fat. My fat. <laughs> Not an attractive subject. But something that um, I know a lot of us uh, deal with. And... I mentioned in a recent video I was going to start another channel, and we'll get into that. I will talk a bit about that. The first soap I'm going to uh, do the such test on is the squash pumpkin soap that I made. I call it pumpkin butter in my Etsy store, but it, this was one that I had dropped, so it got a banged corner and a scrape, and... It got beat up pretty good. It was right after I made it. I dropped it. Very smart, huh? So it's the one I get to test today. We'll also be testing the uh, chaparral bars. Very nice. They, they feel so nice. And the coconut cream soap that I recently made. So we'll start with the squash butter. And it smells lovely. As I mentioned before, the butter, the burned butter, the browned butter, at such a delicious, in my opinion, and many people who bought it, it's just a great scent for fall without having to add any essential oils or artificial fragrances. It just already has a great smell. And of course, the pumpkin squash in here gives it such a nice suds as well. Oh, it feels so good. <laughs> it smells so nice. It's really great. I really like this. I. I don't mean to brag or anything such as that. I just mean it smells great and it feels really nice in the hand. And of course, any of you that make soap already know all soap, <laughs> all handmade soaps, pretty great. Anyway, where I was going with this, the fat talk. So I was going to do my do a separate channel. I talked about it, and I actually made the first video, and then I chickened out. <laughs> when I say I chickened out, I don't mean I'm afraid to do another video. I'm not set up. I thought I was. I tried moving furniture around and redoing a room, actually. And I got a little worn out. Part of being fat, right? <laughs> and so I didn't, I haven't got there yet. Because I need to redo things to make it camera ready to get my, uh, treadmill in place as well as a, a workout area and I have plenty of space here but it's a matter of moving things there's a lot of furniture I have to move or get rid of and redo things so I'm just not quite set up yet so there's a delay there but today on the news one of the things that they talked about was that one of the contributing factors to a lot of the deaths from COVID is fat and they don't mean just obese, but just being overweight, which was quite a eye-opening uh, story to hear. Of course, any of us, most of us, have the common sense to know that, yes, extra weight has its own health uh, deterrence, but that it could actually make COVID even worse is a scary, scary thought. So... I am moving more than I previously did. This is the Chaparral. Doesn't that suds nice? If you can see that or not, it just makes such nice, some very nice. These are, it makes a larger suds. And look at those bubbles. <laughs> Hardly control the bubbles. Uh, oh, and it. It is very lightly scented of chaparral. 
uh, but I didn't go real heavy in this recipe with it. I wanted it to have the beneficial qualities of the chaparral, but not be overwhelming. There are no scents added to this. The only thing you will smell is a very faint chaparral scent, and I think that's actually kind of nice. Makes a nice suds too. Feels really good. Uh, one of the uh, biggest reasons, though, that I am endeavoring to lose weight is not a vanity thing. Well, it's a vanity thing that started. I saw my reflection in the oil of one of my soaps I was making. I saw myself when I was editing the film, and I thought, oh my gosh, is that what I look like? Uh, from looking up at myself, you know, it was very much a surprise. Um, and then recently at work, I saw an extra chin in a video. I was in a uh, conference room in Zoom with coworkers. And so, yeah, there, there was vanity involved. I shouldn't lie and say there was none. Yeah, it was, that's what first brought my attention to it. I assumed all my clothes were just shrinking. <laughs> I didn't realize how much weight I had put on over the last year. And it was a lot more than I had realized. So that's when I knew that I had to do something about it. This is the Coconut Decadence, and boy, is it decadent. This is the one that I made with fresh coconut, four fresh coconuts um, that I got the water out of and then used the actual coconut pulp to make the milk and then added the pulp back in. But it's not uh, a rough soap at all, you might think. Having that coconut in the soap would make it exfoliating and I suppose if you used like dried coconut from a package um, because of the other things they put in it the sugars and things that might be much rougher on the skin this is very mild because it was fresh coconut uh, pulp that was then saponified with the oils so it's very gentle it feels great it that lavender comes through just perfectly that is terrific. And uh, again, a very nice set. So I'm endeavoring to drop the pounds. I'm not cutting back much in my food. I'm cutting back on some of the sugars that I was taking. And you take sugar, you get sugar from so many different places. You, It's not just from uh, sugar out of the canister. You get sugar in a lot of products. Um, I don't eat many processed foods at all. Um, where I can get sugars. But I eat tons of fruit. I eat a lot of fruit. When I say a lot of fruit, and see, even if something healthy can be fat, or not fattening is a bad word. Uh, it's not fat, uh, the fruit isn't, but it's sugar. It, in your body, all the sugars from those fruits uh, do cause us to put on weight, but it's not uh, from fat, it's from the sugar and sugars aren't so great for us in large amounts. And when I say eat a lot of fruit, I may eat three to five oranges a day, two or three bananas, sometimes four or five apples, in addition to the normal meals that I eat. And some may say, well, that sounds healthy. How could that possibly be bad for you? Well, those fruits are very high in sugar. Um, so you eat a lot of them, you're taking in a lot of sugar. That's why, you know, most nutritionists aren't going to suggest you drink orange juice. But anyway, I'm getting off topic here. Uh, but I'm working at not just changing some things in my diet, but in moving more. And I would like to do more than just for myself. I want to share only in as much as I could help someone else. And I don't know how much it might help someone else. Um, maybe it wouldn't help at all. I don't know that if I watched any a video on someone else's diet and exercise plan, um, that it would excite me very much. So <laughs> that's me. But I know there are a lot of channels and things on YouTube with people doing such things, so there must be people interested in it. Um, but I'm not looking for fame, and I'm certainly not, I'm not looking for subscriptions, anything like that. 
It's something I'm doing for myself anyway, as far as the exercise goes and the reduced sugars in my diet. But the YouTube channel thing is would only be for someone else if I thought it would help someone else. I mentioned originally that it might help me keep my own promises to myself. If I videoed it, I'm more likely to keep that promise to myself. Well, there is a flip side to that too. What if you don't meet your goals? How disappointed might I be in myself, right? So you know, I'm still having thoughts on that. and. But I am moving forward with doing, getting the room ready and doing those things. I want you to know that. Oh, look at me dropping the towel in the water. Um, but I did want to touch base on that again. I want you to know it's not something I've given up on. I'm just working through it and figuring it out. So I want to thank you all for visiting. It means a lot to me that you come here and you spend time with me. Um, and I know my viewership isn't very high here. I seem to get a lot of new members every month, but I don't see the viewer numbers going up. Maybe I'm, my videos aren't as interesting as they once were. I'm not sure. Um, and I'm not about needing more uh, views. I, I, I don't care about that. I really don't. Um, I like having you all here. I don't, as many people as want to join, are free to do that and I invite anyone visiting this channel to subscribe and comment but only if it's something you find useful or something you enjoy um, I'm not gonna ask you to subscribe to my channel just for me to get my numbers up because it doesn't help <laughs> it's it is so it doesn't make that big of a difference um, I cut out all internal all mid ads on my channel um, I have to do it manually each time because YouTube automatically adds them you have to go in and manually on every video that I make I have to go in and I have to turn off those mid-roll videos so that they don't happen uh, our mid-roll ads I mean excuse me the advertisements but anyway I'm just rambling on I hope you all have a beautiful day I have another soap video coming up hope you'll watch for that really soon I'm gonna be trying out a new pour technique and we'll talk more about that in that video I hope you have a great day everyone see you back soon goodbye <laughs>